All right, uh, good day everyone. So we are here on Nelson Street. I know a lot of you all know about the protests happening in Bita on Silat. It's happening here on Nelson Street as well. Now, when we arrived here about 30 minutes ago, uh, there was just this little bit here that was blocked right after Queen Street uh, on Nelson Street here. The police were here and as soon as they left the uh, street, uh, on bit here that was blocked, uh, there was just this little bit here that was blocked right after Queen Street uh, on Nelson Street here. The police were here and as soon as they left, uh, residents started this over here. They, uh, they brought barrels, they started. Look at the size of these, um, let's get closer to it. Look at the size of these stones here that um, they threw from this uh, compound here onto the roadway. They were pelting this building here. Uh, basically, they are frustrated. Uh, we're waiting on maybe, uh, we, we heard some police sirens in the distance, but right now in Port of Spain, you're hearing that all over as police try to respond to, to different things. But right now, you cannot pass here. So you, you can't pass on Nelson Street right now, especially around Queen Street. Uh, the residents are telling us that they're frustrated, that they're fed up. They at, least, at, at the beginning, they thought we were police and um, they pelted us as well. But uh, they said that right now, and as I quote one of the young men shouted, sorry about that, we thought you all were police and police is the one who killing us out. So that's what's happening right now. So protests on the beta and protests in Silots and it's here on Nelson Street right now. Let's just take a walk through and show you all what's happening. So this started about a few minutes ago and we're still waiting on the uh, police to arrive to clear it. It was a smaller blockade earlier. This one's a bit larger. As soon as the roadway is cleared, police, police officers. Now I just saw bottles be thrown at police officers. That was not a gunshot. Glass bottles are being thrown at police officers at this time. Police officers are aiming their firearms at the residents who are throwing. Media. Media? Yeah. I saved, don't worry, I saved. News day. I left it in the car up the road. For your safety. Well, I will step back. Yeah. So, police officers are just advising that I see as far as I, I can for my own safety. It's myself and a photographer from Guardian Media here at Sealots. Now if you can see, these things in the air are glass bottles being thrown from inside Sealots onto the highway. You're gonna make a boomerang, say what is it? Can I get your name? Good day, this is Jens Levin reporting live from Sealots from off the Uriah Butler Highway, sorry, the Beetham Highway, where residents of Sealots have blocked off the western lanes of the highway as well as the eastern lanes in protest of one of three men killed by police over the weekend. Now, residents of the Beetham Gardens would have um, thrown garbage in the roadway earlier on today. That was quickly removed. Whilst officers were dealing with that, residents of Sealots, um, in support of their 
their friends at Betham Gardens through rubbish in the roadway, mostly discarded tires, and set them afire. Police officers are at every junction where there is fire at this moment. The eastbound lanes, as you can see in the background there, is currently blocked off. Again, residents are protesting the shooting death of three men early Saturday morning, two of them being under the age of 18. There is old tires, um, bowlers. I'm seeing an old, from this angle, looks like a washing machine. Parts of a washing machine. I will try to, to speak with any one of the residents. Yeah, yeah. I'm not back. There you have one vehicle escaping the, the barricade. Our residents are willing to come and speak with us. We have police officers removing the debris. And as quickly as that is done, more is being thrown anyway by residents. Here we have um, PS, PTSC workers just looking on. Again, residents are protesting the deaths of three men by police officers. It's sort of a cat and mouse game with police officers and residents at this time. As soon as they clear one area, as we were seeing earlier on, a police officer was removing uh, the discarded tire. Residents are blocking further down. While tension seems to be as high as can be, it is still respectful, as I would have witnessed in the past, uh, residents using obscene language and being very close to physically assaulting police officers. I'm not seeing that in this protest this morning. Just angry residents throwing any and everything that they could find their hands on and throwing it into the roadway. Police officers are just standing, looking on. Obviously understanding that there is not much that they can do at this time, while residents are upset, for the most part, they have not been unruly. Now, that unruly is within context. Context being, I have seen protests where throwing of bottles and blocking the roadway is part of the course. I've also seen where I've also seen Again, the cat and mouse game continues As soon as the roadway is cleared As soon as the roadway is cleared, police, police officers Now I just saw bottles being thrown at police officers That was not a gunshot Glass bottles are being thrown at police officers at this time. Police officers are. I know you're in charge of traffic, but how are you all maintaining this this morning? Well, as you can see, um, there's some protest action that uh, took place this morning and continues throughout the day. Uh, members of the traffic highway patrol branch, you know, our main function is to ensure the free flowing of the, the, the main highway. And this is um, an example of what is taking place here. So at present, we have the situation under control on the nation's highways. Traffic is flowing smoothly, and again, we are asking um, members of the neighboring residents to desist. Um, we know that they can protest peacefully, but blocking.